Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll walk you through the basics of using avatars from Reillusion's Character Creator or CC4 with UDraper for real-time or cinematic cloth simulations in Unreal Engine. We'll be using clothes created in Marvelous Designer. If you've seen our previous tutorials on MetaHumans, you'll find the process similar. However, there are some key differences when working with CC4 characters. We hope that this video will be helpful for those of you who prefer using Character Creator in Unreal Engine. Let's jump right in and get started with preparing and exporting characters from Character Creator. First, we'll use the male Kevin character as an example. We'll remove his default clothes and then apply the standard Open A pose from the calibration section. This pose keeps the arms and back straight, making it easier to drape clothes in Marvelous Designer later. When exporting the character in FBX format, we need to keep the current pose and also include levels of details or LODs for the cloth simulations. To do this, select Unreal Engine as the target format, then choose a mesh and motion with current pose for the FBX options. For Insta LODs, turn on the original character and select additional detail levels. In this case, we'll choose normal and high. Finally, turn off embed motion to keep the original pose and export the character. We'll also export a few animations for Kevin. Next, we'll repeat the same steps for the female character, Camilla, except we won't use LODs when exporting the FBX. This is because CC4 doesn't create good LODs for female hair. To export a better collider for Camilla, we'll remove her hair and eyebrows. When exporting this collider for Camilla, the settings are the same as for Kevin, but we don't need the Keep Original option. Now, let's switch over to Unreal Engine and create a new project. We'll copy the auto setup downloaded from the Reillusion website and import our characters in high quality using the Reillusion plugin. In the Import dialog, make sure to select the Use T0 as Ref Pose and Import Mesh LODs options. The rest of the settings are up to you, but you can refer to Reillusion's tutorials for more details on using Auto Setup. In this case, we just want to ensure our LODs are imported correctly. We'll also import our animations as usual for the character's skeleton.
For Camilla's collider, we won't use auto setup because we don't need materials for colliders. Now that our characters are imported, it's time to enable the UDraper plugin. Alright, let's bring our CC4 characters into the scene and add UDraper components by clicking the big blue Add button. As you might expect, you'll encounter a warning message about the high number of vertices in the character mesh. This is precisely why we've already exported a few LODs. For Kevin, we already have suitable LODs so we don't need to add a separate collider component. We can simply specify LOD1 or LOD2 for the collider in the Draper simulation component. While we're at it, let's export Kevin's collider mesh to be used in Marvelous Designer. We'll also add and configure the female character. For Camilla, since she has a separate collider mesh, we'll add a dedicated Draper collider component. Here we can also specify a LOD number to manage the number of vertices for collisions. And again, let's export Camilla's Collider Mesh to be used in Marvelous Designer as well. For this tutorial, we've chosen a couple of outfits from ArtStation. However, since most ArtStation clothes are designed for different mannequins, we'll need to refit and redrape them to our character colliders exported from Unreal Engine. It's important to remember that in UDraper, we work with materials, not clothing patterns. So if you want to assign specific properties to certain parts of the garments, you'll need to create separate materials for those sections. The remaining steps for real-time or cinematic simulations are similar to those covered in our previous tutorials, which you can find in the description below. I hope this gets you started.